This entire video is going to be based on the following premise. A person who is healthy in their body will be healthy in their mind and in their spirit. Assuming that's the case, how does one define healthy? Healthy is the state where your mind, body, and spirit are at peace and functioning in an optimal level. When it comes to your physical body, it is the state where you take the body you were born with, the body you were given, and you maximize it to the greatest extent you can. Under most circumstances, when we awaken in the morning, our bodies should feel excellent and we should be eager to rise and face the day. Notice I didn't say our bodies should feel perfect. I said they should feel excellent. As we've stated many times before, there's no such thing as perfection. Minor aches and pains in your body is a normal part of living. However, if your body is functioning on an excellent level, you will be able to function despite those minor aches and pains, and you will be able to get things done. In other words, having a healthy body is where you take what you've been given and you consciously and actively do the best with it that you can. Everyone has a spirit that can be refined, a body that can be trained in some manner, a suitable path to follow. You are here to realize your inner divinity and manifest your innate enlightenment. No matter who you are, no matter where you're starting from, you have a body and under most circumstances, you can train it to be better, to be stronger, to run more optimally. The mind, the body, and the spirit are one. When the body expresses the desires of the mind and the spirit, then the body is in tune with nature. If you're going to train that body, if you're going to optimize that body, then your head and your spirit is going to need to be on board with the process. Training takes a certain mindset. Training takes a certain amount of your energy. If you want to know how your thoughts were yesterday, then check how your body feels today. Getting your body in shape starts with your mindset. If your body feels like crap today, then chances are you were thinking crappy thoughts yesterday. If your body feels excellent, chances are you were positively focused on excellent things yesterday, and that's reflected in how you feel today. Your body is as strong as the mind that controls it. Again, your mind has to be on board with the training process. As you train, your body may groan, your body may protest. Remember, most pain is simply your past weakness leaving your body. You might have to take a day off from time to time and let your body rest, but you have to use your mind to keep pushing forward and through that pain, through that soreness. Trust me, it gets better and easier over time. But your mind will try to stop you even when your body can keep going, be strong, push through. Remember, the goal is to build yourself up, not to tear yourself down. Training your body is a gradual, long-term process. You're not going to get there overnight and you shouldn't try to. Don't try to go from being a couch potato to walking 10 miles a day like I do. Start out by walking a couple of blocks. Over time, as you get stronger and more fit, you can add in more later. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day, but they were laying bricks every hour. You don't have to build everything you want today. Just lay a brick. Here's 12 things happy people do differently. They express gratitude. They cultivate optimism. They avoid overthinking and social comparison. They practice acts of kindness. They nurture social relationships. They develop strategies for coping. They learn to forgive, they increase flow experiences, they savor life's joys, they commit to their goals, they practice spirituality, and last but not least, they take care of their body. Training your body is taking care of your body. Take care of your body. It's the only place you have to live. If you truly want to train your body, you need to make sure you fuel it properly. The more whole foods, the more fruits, vegetables, grains, nuts, and seeds you eat, and the less processed food you eat, the healthier your body will be. 
Your diet is not just what you eat. It's what you watch, what you listen to, what you read, the people you associate with. Be mindful of the things you put in your body emotionally, spiritually, and physically. Discipline your body that you may find a greater power. Those who surrender themselves find inner strength. When training your body, especially in the beginning, you will need to take a day off every now and then and just relax. Remember, if you do not pick a day to relax, then your body will pick one for you. And we don't want to have that happen. Fall in love with taking care of yourself, mind, body, and soul. There's only one of you. The purpose of training is to tighten up the slack, toughen the body, and polish the spirit. The best training program in the world is absolutely worthless without the will to execute it properly, consistently, and with intensity. If you want help putting a training program together and with developing the proper mindset to carry it off and to see it through, feel free to contact me. I'm here to help. Are you ready for more? If so, subscribe to the Way of Excellence channel by clicking my picture in the lower right corner at the end of this video. Be sure to come back every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday as that's when I post new videos. Also be sure to leave your comments below. I'll try to respond promptly. Until next time, take care.